It's time to introduce the surfers that will battle it out for a place in round four. Adrian Bucken and Wiggly Dantas. And this is a great matchup. Both these guys have pretty similar weapons. It's Wiggly getting the quick start here. Solid hits. Always moves. Plenty of water. Just standing back on the tail of his board now, waiting for this wall to stand up so he can go to town. First and only wave in the set. Both these surfers are uh, choosing to ride EPS, which is epoxy, styrofoam cores. Wiggly on the burn. Again, it's a swallowtail. Gives that little extra life. And it seems to be working out pretty well for him. You know, Wiggly goes through a lot of different boards. Rides burns, he has chilies. But, uh, that's pretty much what he's been focusing on for the last more upside down. You know, a little bit, uh, you know, you can see he gets that board above the hips. He's had some success here at Trestles, getting the fins free on this first move, driving down the line and wanting to make sure of it in everyone's uh, opinion with a big performance here because it was an unconvincing victory over Stu Kennedy in the second round. He did enough to get the win underneath, you know, and he gets upside down. You see, you look at the head below the hips and then gets the, the twist up in the lip, similar to even that float. You know, he brings his whole upper body lower to the board and puts the hips and everything up. So it accentuates the turn. Again, here, take the technique there, boom. Heads back there underneath the armpit. Again, same thing, where they tucks that head down, keeps the speed going. And uh, it's always nice to see he is on that same high five. A little bit more aggression in his approach in his rookie season, so he's trying to tap back into that. We'll catch up with Adrian Bucken now on the forehand, so keeping his options open, slicing through this first section. The wave's going to get away from him. 19 and a half minutes to go here. I love well, the question is, is he in the zone today? Because Evan was in the zone in the, the second round putting together some big moves as we see Wiggly up once again chasing the lead needs a 5-2-7 there's that impeccable timing and that big fan of spray going skyward Adrian's got to get a chance to answer here too though driving up into the lip gets a bit of pop out of that first move but doesn't really like it wants to get back out to that position of priority you know what at this point, this wave right here, if I milk it, I get myself a five. No, I'm not going to leave myself without the opportunity to get the best set wave. Again, you, you had mentioned, you know, the impeccable timing, and that really is exactly why you see so much water fly off the face. Loves the barrel. Well, here he goes. Under priority. Trying to drop one of these fives and, and replace it with something bigger. He's not going to do it. Just over eight minutes to go. Already counting it. A runner-up finish in a CT event this year. A smooth start to this ride. Two very different turns. Needs something high impact. Finds it on the closeout. Nice. The section here where you're really using that section to project down the line. You can be a little bit conservative, but for me, he's been getting himself that projection and doing exactly what the job needed to get back to that open face, but he's doing it with a high impact move. As we see, ice. Using his priority, heading left. Drives up into the bowl. A nice vertical approach. Grinds through a nice carve there. This wave offering up a lot of scoring potential. And the Australian making good use of it. Trying to get rid of a 6.97. Remaneuver had some vertical face to it. Looked, you saw that he looked right just to check it out. Made the decision for the left. You know, and a good one it was. You know, I don't see it going substantially better than his other rides already, but he kept that one away from Wiggly. This is a big shift up from yesterday too. Might have just been the conditions, but Adrian, he was a bit repetitive on the backhand. He kind of kept going to that, that one motion, whipping his board up vertically. Today, every time he's approached the lip, he's given us something different. And it was the same story on that left. Started with the fin blow, went out through a big carve, then punched it again down the line. This heat is coming to a close. They Adrian dropped his best score, an 8.17. It's an easy win. It is. And uh, you know what? Ace did his homework. I think he probably went back and, and watched that heat and uh, paid attention, made some slight changes, and uh, in a big way, put up a big number, 15.50 heat total. Two.